Thursday vlog number three. <laughs> I'm probably going to mess up upload a video because I have one that's stuck at 95%. Anyway, um, just wanted to go over with you all. So I gotta take the dog out again. That is my life. This beautiful go lay down. Just because I put my, my fuzzy slippers on, she thinks that means that she's got to go somewhere. Romeo's just staring me down like, when we gonna go out? I thought we were going out. Give me a second. Actually, the dog's in those noses. Um, I threw the can down here in the recycle bin, but I will show you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash my hands again. Uh, Chub mackerel, Pampa mackerel, very cheap. It's like a dollar something a can at Walmart. It smells horrendous, very fishy, but it had higher protein than tuna or chicken, so that is why I use it. Right now, this is what it looks like. It's gonna look really gross, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna show you. You get these big, huge chunks of fish, and there are spines in here. If I can find one, I'll show you. But they're very, very soft. Um, they don't have like sharp bones. I'm not gonna dig one out. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't get these nails done so I could digging these fish but there are long spines in here a lot of times i think i just passed one but whatever anyway um all the bones are very soft great to add to your dog's food if you don't mind the stinkiness and i highly recommend having a little bit out of the way everybody smells it they're like oh did you get the fish she got the fish um, stainless steel bowls. So, yes, they look gross, but that's just because of Romeo's drool. Um, the reason that I have the fish going on right now is because we are still giving him his thyroid medicine. <laughs> and thankfully, these are small pills, and it's just twice a day. But he has gotten real good at, like, pill pocket things, those little treats that I had over there. He'll be like, and get rid of the pill and just eat the other stuff. So the fish, basically I'm just going to take one pill. I am going to mash this up like so. Please don't get on my clothes because they're going to be so stinky. And I've been giving the little ones some so they don't feel left out. That's why the stalker is behind me right now. Why are you in the kitchen, sis? Because you know you ain't supposed to be in here. Yeah, my dogs usually have a boundary right there. Mm hmm. Anyway, I'm getting ready to take them out, but um, normally I just take like. He's a big boy, so. I'll take like a spoonful of the fish and then stick the pill in it. And that's a quick and easy way to give your dog something because he will eat it all because it's all going to taste like fish once I put it in there. I wish it didn't all smell like fish, though. So gross. Alright, so this is probably going to end up being a TikTok clip. I've heard a lot of people say they have problems with androids, and I'm an android girl all day long. And uh, TikTok, but anyway, basically, cheap fish. It's not cheap, but it's just uh, inexpensive. I'm going to get this fish, because I put it in a container. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just lost it. I'm going to stick the pill in the center. Right here, in the middle. Carefully dip a little bit more sauce in there. Pray to the gods that I can get the smell off me later. And, uh, it's like, I'm sorry. Feed this to my mastiff. You have that. Miss Beautiful, move back. Chihuahua is a thief. She is the biggest food fiend in the house. I will give you some in a second, but you don't get the one with the pill in it, so stop. So there is his medication. For those of you wondering, 
I have gone through the Cadillacs of dog food, like $50, $60 a bag. Innova, I-N-N-O-V-A. Just got like five ingredients. I think it's turkey, sweet potato. Boy, don't creep up on me. Um, just a couple healthy things. Anyway, to pedigree. There's the pedigree adult. It comes, this one's the grilled steak and vegetable flavor. It also comes in a chicken and something. And it also comes in a lamb. Um, you might not be able to find them all at the same store. Uh, they have a high protein version as well. You really don't need high protein unless your dog is very active or um, certain breeds. Uh, you Really, your big breeds, like that one that's stalking me back there right there. He just got his pill with his fish, so he wants more. Um, puppy, this is what I was feeding the little ones. So I've got the puppy. It's uh, grown protection. Sorry, I take time to get up because I am old woman now. All right, um, whew, and my blood pressure medicine is still staying on board from earlier this morning. And this fish. Um, but basically, what I contain, uh, wanted to add some extra protein to Romeo's stuff once he was fully grown, which for your mastiffs is three or four years old. And I will tell you, he was almost five before I really think he was totally filled out because they basically. Uh, go through these gangly stages where they're up and down and tall and short and skinny and then that's why the puppies look like they did in the video. They grow very quickly. He was gaining uh, five pounds a week and then he grew uh, two to three inches every month. So I'm putting this mackerel back in the fridge but I will say I picked up mackerel because when I compared everything on the shelf there is a diet called bones and raw food food, which is a barf diet. I know it sounds gross, but um, yeah, I just couldn't afford to do that. So um, you're basically feeding them uh, like chicken thighs, chicken wings, chicken breast, whatever you can afford. Um, and it's basically got all the bones in it and you feed it to them raw. A lot of race dogs eat that. Your sight hounds, the ones that race at the track. I know it sounds very weird, but it's worse for you to cook the meat and feed it to them because of the fact that the bones get very brittle and can actually injure them once they eat them. Boy, man, don't get off me. I gave you the food. I got stalkers now. Look at this one blocking me. Can I go out the door for a second? Excuse me. Anyway, move. Oh, I'm going to take them out momentarily, but I mm, just want to explain a few things about dog food. Editing purposes, got to stop again. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Film with one hand. Got mom giving me the stank eye in the back and I'm gonna come outside oh lord have mercy what happened to her car anyway um uh, was, this is what I was telling y'all about them love bugs look at the front of this car <laughs> y'all see all that that's what happens when love bug season hits in Florida um okay other things about dogs what else can I talk about um Romeo's on his thyroid medicine. He goes back in a little over another week to get uh, blood drawn again to make Jennifer finger off the lens. Sorry about that. Um, to make sure that everything has come up and the medication is at the right level. These pills are tiny little blue ones like I showed you guys. Very easy to feed him. He never finished his antibiotics for his elbows because giving a big dog... Who is smart enough to spit them out no matter what you put them in peanut butter fish chicken freaking ravioli it don't matter what you put it in um he's smart enough to spit out four pills there are four big capsules twice a day i gave up i'm done i'm not worried about it anymore y'all 
Um, his energy level is better. It's not back to 100%. I did take him back to the dog park one more time. I don't know if that clip got uploaded or not because I've been having problems. But I'm not going to take his behind back over there again because t both times, just from him running around for like 5-10 minutes, I've had to have anybody, somebody, excuse me, sir, you with the German Shepherd, hi, can you please help me, um, help me load him in the car, and it's, it's a lot, so, we're not going to be doing any more dog park tricks, tricks, I mean tricks, I meant tricks, T-R-E-K-S, for a while, um, other than that, not a whole lot going on there. Back again, I have to keep cutting off because of shitty program that I use for free. Um, anyway, um, oh, my back is hurting. Um, dog food stuff. Please don't feel like you must absolutely feed your dog this high price stuff because you don't. The most important part is the same thing that they say about feeding babies um it ain't got to be breast is best because that's the saying for moms breast is best but fed is best so just make sure that you're giving them what you can afford i mean don't go broke on the bank trying to feed a, an animal you don't have to give them table food i highly recommend you don't because it encourages bad habits and dogs in particular cats ain't so picky but Dogs in particular are very good about waiting. They'll be like, yeah, I don't want that. And they will wait you out for days just waiting for you to give them something else. So it's not that table food is horrible. You can do what you want. Um, I've sold many, 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 many puppies over the last 25 years. And I can tell you, even the, the ones that we sold just two years ago that the lawn guy has, he's spoiled him rotten. I gave him all the great advice, and he had never had a little dog. He really hadn't had a dog at all. And um, he broke every rule that I told him about. Uh, general rules for pets. Uh, let me look at my time. All right. Uh, you don't really want your pet on the couch, and I will tell you why. A lot of people do it. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm going to say this. Animals learn their place in the, in the pack, and you are part of their pack by what rules you give them. If you allow them to get on your bed and get on the couch and get um, anywhere they want to go, get in the kitchen, grab things out of the trash can and everything else, they assume they're on the same level as you. Now, if you never plan to have children, sorry if I have chap lips again. It's been a long day, guys. I've been up for a while now. It's been well over 12 hours. Um, if you never plan to have children, that's not a problem. But you have to understand if you ever have neighbors or um, relatives or do have children later, these animals don't understand that the child is still above them. This is where you end up with your dog bites. This is where you end up with your uh, animals growling at children trying to get on the couch, which is what my yard man is having had had an issue with. And I told him, I said, you know what? This is how you fix it. You take his little ass, because this little dog weighs about three pounds, and when your nephew goes to get on and he goes, <coughs> you snatch his little behind up, you put him on the floor, and hold him there, and let your nephew get on the couch, and then he'll learn, yeah, that didn't really work out that well. I have had everything from uh, Mastiffs to Great Danes to Chihuahuas to, I can't even tell you the other breeds, Rat Terriers, I've had all kinds of things. Um... The point is you have to establish the rules and you have to maintain the rules and the rules are the rules all the time. That is how you keep children from getting bit, people from getting bit, and you keep your animals in check. It sounds mean, but it's not mean because if you watch any videos about wolves or dogs or anything else, the mom will literally just be like to the puppies after they get out of line for a little bit. And then after a while, she's going to be like, ah, ah, and she will give them a bite. It's not a dangerous bite. It's not a hurtful bite. 
But the point is they learn their limits. And that's the point of owning dogs. It's different than cats. Cats are pretty independent. Uh, you could throw a cat out in the woods and they'll be good because they're going to eat some lizards, eat some birds, they're going to go eat some whatever. A dog, they're pretty much like, where'd my human go? I need my food. Where did you leave me? You know, so just saying, y'all, you got to set your limits. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I see it's already about 18, 20 minutes or so. Can't tell. But like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to put it down below. I will respond. I respond to almost everybody who I see the comments from. But just learn the basics of owning pets as far as dogs. It don't matter if you got a pit bull or you got a chihuahua or you, especially if you have a Yorkie. Terriers are generally dog aggressive. It's just part of their breed. Doesn't matter if it's a pit bull or a Yorkie. They're going to be like, <laughs> as soon as they see another dog because that doesn't mean they're mean they're just on guard and the difference between a watch dog a show dog and a guard dog okay um i did another video on this but a watch dog is basically a little dog uh not little per se all the time but a watch dog is going to bark and alert you when someone's around your property i specifically got a bull mastiff because they only bark when somebody's around your property. Romeo did not bark for like the first six months of his life. All right. I'm an ice addict. I didn't even think he knew how to bark. Um, your guard dog is going to be the one that may not necessarily bark unless you know somebody's by there. But they should go and protect you if somebody comes up on you. Bull Mastiffs do both. Um, they were known as the night watchman's dog way back in the day. They used to help the night watchmen patrol the properties of the, um, we use different words here than you guys use in the UK and stuff, but, um, basically the, the acreage, the property, the, um, I don't even know what to say about the word. Um, so basically they would pretty much be silent. The preferred color was dark, like Romeo, which I showed in another video earlier today that you can't see him when it's dark because I fell over him many a time. Um, and basically, they have a great sense of smell, good hearing, and everything. And they would go around the pat patrol the pat property with the watchmen at night, and as soon as they would hear something, they took off. Um, they are not a mauling breed. Give me a second. I apologize for these vlogs being so long lately, y'all. Got some spittle that just went... Um, they are not a mauling breed, which means um, they do not attack, grab hold, and just... Um, a lot of your Belgian Malinois, the police dogs, that's what they do. They grab, they hold, they shake. You know, that's their, their thing, and it does a lot of damage. Bull Mastiffs are more of a pinning breed. They have enough size that they literally would just be silent. They don't bark at all. And they would run the person down and pin them and hold them. Even if the person had a knife, a gun, whatever, they will hold them down until the night watchman used to come up and take care of the person that was on the property that shouldn't be there. So basically they were estate guardians, but silent uh, not the same as the Fila Brasilero. If you remember me talking about that in a recent video about the Brazilian Mastiffs, sorry, this Florida sun is burning my legs. Uh, Fila Brasileros are what you call a silent, um, even mom will say they're kind of like a silent attack dog. They will lay there like lazy bloodhounds and be like, and they see a cat or a person coming and they'll be like I don't see you they wait until you get they're a sneak attack dog that's what mom calls them they wait until you get real close and they will maul yo behind to death and I'm not playing they are the only show dog that uh, none of the judges will actually put their hands on they will say show me the teeth because that's part of showing dogs they will say, pull the skin, because the skin has to be very loose. And they will say, take the dog around. The judge will not put their hands on them. 
Now, maybe in other countries they do, but they don't do it in the U.S. And um, like I said before, they will make an announcement that says, Fila coming through. F-I-L-A. Fila. Like the name brand, the shoes. And I was like, well, why, I got a Amstaff, which is technically a pit bull. Why, I got, why do I have to move for this big, dopey-looking thing? Yeah, they're sneak attackers. Uh, I saw one go after a dog once, my girl Trudy. Anyway, sorry if you guys are getting duplicate stuff because, like I said, I'm uploading to TikTok. I'm also uploading to YouTube. But some of these videos are not going all the way through, and I don't know what the problem is. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this now because I done went way over my time limit again. So, like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the next episode of Jen Crazy or whatever I decide to talk about is going on. And God bless America. Why is the Florida sun so hot? Mmm, 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 mmm. It's so hot out here. I got to get back in the house. Mm. My feet are on fire. And I got on fuzzy house shoes. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.